quite often we tend to think for the reasons to know why India is not growing as fast as it would like to be. A major reason for India's hindrance on the Human Development Index, that is HDI, is inequalities. In turn, inequalities impede India's economic growth. The HDI index for 2023 ranked India at 132 out of 191. Here are some key points to absorb about India's Human Development Index. The country's HDI value of 0.633 places India in the medium category which in fact is down from 0 0.645 in 2020 as life expectancy in India fell from 69.7 years in 2019 to 67.2 years in 2021. The HDI accordingly dropped from 0.645 to 0.633. As of 2020, the expected years of schooling in India stand at 11.9 years, down from 12.2 years as of the previous estimate. Although the mean years of schooling have increased to 6.7 years from 6.5 years, but the expected years of schooling have dropped. That has to be noted. While India retained its 132nd position in the Gender Development Index, the female life expectancy fell from 71 years in 2020 to 68.8 years in 2021. Females mean year of schooling also declined from 12.6 to 11.9 during the same period. With a headcount ratio of 27.9%, India scored 0.123 on Multidimensional Poverty Index MPA with 8.8% of the population suffering from severe multidimensional poverty. However, India has lifted 271 million people out of multidimensional poverty over the last one decade. To progress economically and to reduce income inequality, India needs to excel in health, education and per capita income levels of individuals. By 2030, India must grow at an average of over 7 to 8 percent per year to improve its GDP to 5 trillion dollars. For that to happen, it will have to invest more in education and healthcare. Undernutrition rates of India stands at 16.3 percent. Stunting results from chronic undernutrition. Stunting rates in India stands at 35.5 percent. Whereas, wasting results from Inadequate nutrition over a shorter period of time. In India, the wasting rate is of 19.3% and mortality rates of 3.3% are the findings of the Global Hunger Index as of 2022. The GHI considers hunger as the causative outcome factor for stunting and wasting, although other factors such as sanitation, genetics, environment and the use of food intake may also be involved. There is also a lot of concern regarding child mortality, but it is uncertain whether it is directly related to hunger or to any other factor. Not only are Indian children short for their age, but they are also underweight and wasted, that is to say they have inadequate nutrition over a shorter period of time. Children who are undernourished have difficulty staying healthy and are unable to catch up with their peers at school or at work. That's how the Indian economy in fact loses about 4% of its gross domestic product to malnutrition and trend can be reversed by focusing on production diversity as well as fortification at a macro level. In terms of income opportunities that are lost, malnutrition could have cost India up to 
12 lakh 45 thousand crores which is more than what india spent on health education and other schemes in 2022 which was to the tune of 7.37 lakh crores the human capital index ranks india at 116 out of 174 countries with an indian worker working just 6.5 years at peak opportunity in his lifetime compared to 20 years for chinese workers and 16 years for brazilians and 13 years for sri lankans if we look at that the indian average productive years in life happens to be just 6.5 years based on the human capital index so india needs to work on providing nutritious food to children and also it should work a lot to make the nutritious food to reach the nook and corner of the society and also it must reach the wide population at large for it to show any kind of productive results in terms of economic variations of course investing in education and health improves human capital and gdp which policy makers tend to ignore and also sometimes tend to budget but that budget needs to reach the end users and the end users must utilize the proceeds in right perspective and must improve their productivity and make India increase its peak productivity lifespan. Hope the information is useful. In my next upcoming video, of course, I will be dwelling on the gender inequalities and discussing that too in detail. Thank you very much for your patient hearing.